What is up everyone, this is Henry here, and thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, click that notification bell, check out my description below, and go follow me on my social medias, especially Rumble and Odyssey. And also, if you want to support the channel even more, you can do so via Cash App, PayPal, or you can check out my merch store and pick you up some merchandise. So, just a FYI guys, before we get into, into this video, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is only for entertainment purposes only, and that's it. Do I think this is the best year of stacking silver and gold before prices start to go up in the following year? Now, the answer to that question is yes. In my humble opinion, I think 2023 is the last year and the best year to get into this now before you start to see prices go up. And when I mean by go up, we're going to be seeing silver probably at 30 bucks plus an ounce, if not way more. I think 50 bucks or 100 bucks isn't out of the question due to everything else going up in price. So, with that saying, guys, if you are stacking gold and silver for in a, as an investment, again, 2023, this, this is the last year to get as much gold and silver as you can before it goes up in 2024. And then, that's when you can make a profit off of it and sell it. That's investing in like like what I said in another video, I will personally be doing that. And I hope you guys will be following suits. Obviously, don't sell your full stack because if shit pops off, you need silver and gold to barter and stuff like that. Now, for you hardcore stackers that doesn't want to sell any of your silver, you just want to keep adding up weights, this is also the best year to do so because I know you don't want to spend 50 bucks an ounce on silver. So if you want to just add weights, do it now. Budget yourself and your stack will slowly but surely get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Just like mine. I started around this time last year, give or take, and I'm above 100 ounces. If I can do it, you can do it. Don't let none of these ignorant people that don't know anything about investing in the first place, especially gold and silver, because I had a few people tell me, like, uh, you're just wasting your money on precious metals. Like, it's just a lot of ignorant people that don't know anything about this. Me, personally, I'm not necessarily investing in this stuff, but like what I said, if this stuff goes up to the moon, I will be selling some of it, of course, back into fiat. And then I'm going to wait until the precious metals go back down, like what I said in another video. And then I'll start getting more precious metals. You want to average everything when it comes to stacking. Every purchase that you make, put down the price and cost average your silver. So for an example... 100 ounces and I go through the prices of all the coins and stuff that I bought and the media is $23.50 and the silver goes up to 50 bucks I'll make a little bit more double I'll, I'll double my profit and then some if it goes up to 100 I'll triple it and then so, so on so forth that's investing that's what people do with real estate all the time. Real estate, Bitcoin, stock markets, that's what they do. Precious metals is the same thing, but it's more slow. It's a slow, I mean, it's a long-term investment if you want to invest it, invest in it. It's a long-term. It, silver has gone up and down, has gone up to the moon several times. Like right now, we're in a recession. After the recession's over, if silver is going to skyrocket like it did before and it would be the best time to sell it and that's why i'm going to continue to stack and get my weights up and then 
when a time comes, I will sell half of my stack and I will either double my profit or triple it. And then with that money, you can get into other things. You can buy some land. You can invest in land. You can invest in a lot of stuff, guys. That's why you see a lot of millionaires nowadays because they're doing the same thing. Probably, probably not in precious metals, but I'm pretty sure they're doing it in crypto or real estate. Because with real estate, you gotta have money. You gotta have at least fifty to a hundred thousand and more to get into real estate. With real estate, it's basically the same thing, but it's with homes and stuff. You can flip. You can have different. I mean, multiple homes, and you can flip them for profit. It's basically the same thing with homes, but obviously you'll get a hell of a lot more <laughs> out of it. And I'm going to retract on the millionaires not stacking silver and gold because I know a lot of them do stack silver and gold. Andrew Tate, for an example, I know he stacks that. Uh, some other podcast channels, they stack it as well, and they flip it as well. So that's what I'm planning on doing, and that's something that, you guys should consider into doing as well if you want to get money. You know, it's time consuming, but I think it's worth it. Instead of doing one to five jobs all your life, you can you can take a chance, take a gamble, and get into stuff like this. All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some good information out of it. Um, if you did, please smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, welcome to the channel. Also, hit that, not that notification bell to get notified in, on, in my, for my future videos. Also, go check out my two channels up here. Go subscribe to them. I'll, I will greatly appreciate that. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Carry a gun. Get prepared. And start stacking. You. And as always, have a nice day. Take it easy.